Thank you. Seth and Robin, <laughs> marriage is the most important of all earthly relationships. It should be entered into reverently, thoughtfully, and with full understanding of its sacred nature. Your marriage must stand by the strength of your love and power of faith in each other and God. Just as two threads woven in opposite directions from a beautiful tapestry, so too your two lives when merged together will make a beautiful marriage. Jesus said, I am come that they may have life and that they might have it more abundantly. This abundant life for many people is an impossible dream. Yet God wants us all to have this abundant life and prove his love for us by giving his son that we might have this life. Love is patient and kind, never jealous or envious, never boastful or proud. Love is never haughty or selfish or rude. Love does not demand its own way. Love is not irritable or touchy. Love does not hold grudges and will hardly notice when others do it wrong. Love is never glad about injustice, but rejoices when truth wins out. If you love someone, you'll be loyal to them, no matter what the cost. You'll always believe in them, and will always stand your ground in defending them. Marriage gives permanence and structure to a couple's life. It's a way to tell one another that no matter how much you play video games or how much money you spend or at the shopping mall, we're in this together. It's more permanent than the cute little tattoos that both of you have. <laughs> Marriage is telling the person you love that you're not going anywhere. And that's a powerful commitment for two people to make to one another. A good marriage must be built on the foundation of this commitment. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never been too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is standing together, back to back, and facing the world. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. But together they have taken each other on and have used those experiences to strengthen, not weaken their love. Now the couple have chosen to give their own vows to each other, and so Seth's going to lead, even as he's going to be the new spiritual leader of this newfound relationship. I would have never believed anyone if they had told me that I'd find my soulmate here in Reno, Nevada. <laughs> I remember when I first met you, and I hiked through the snow, and I'd drive through the night in the ice, which I've never done before, it barely snows in Seattle, but I would drive all that way from Carson City um, to your apartment just to talk with you and sing with you for an hour and then drive all the way back. Um, you were just amazing and your heart had caught mine without me knowing it. You became a greater friend than I could ever ask for. Greater than Josh. <laughs> There's so much to say and few little words to describe how I actually feel about you, especially saying it here. But this I promise to you, to fill your life with adventure and laughter and to never see you sad, to hold you in sorrow and keep you safe from harm. I will always listen and encourage you through every avenue of life and whatever you choose. I will put your needs before mine each and every day. I will humble my heart when I need to and let pride take the fall. You are my queen. 
and I will treat you like that till our years on this earth end. <sighs> Through the ups, downs, and turns on this road of life, let God our Father be a firm foundation for which we believe and hold our faith in throughout this marriage. And with this, no distance or trial can separate my love for you. This is my vow to you, Robin. I will always love you. Thank you, Seth. That was beautiful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now Robin will give her vows. <laughs> Austin Bear. <laughs> when I met you, I knew how you'd found my soulmate and my best friend. You were, sorry, you were everything I prayed for for so long. And for once in my life, I didn't feel unsure. And I knew that when you said you loved me, you meant it. Because when you said you loved God, you meant it. I love how you make me laugh until my cheeks hurt, and the way you show compassion for complete strangers. And I love how I can stand here today in front of all of our friends and family and confidently choose you. <laughs> I choose to stand by your side and sleep in your arms. I choose to support your dreams and motivate you when you feel like giving up. I promise to always. Uh, sorry. Sorry. I promise to always be your home, no matter where life takes us. And I promise to be faithful to you, kiss only you, sing with you, and never take this commitment for granted. You're my God, babe. <laughs> and I'm so proud to be your wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Robin, for almost making me cry. <laughs> it says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 1, Therefore, if there is any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and mercy, fulfill my joy by being like-minded, having the same love, being a one accord of one mind. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Seth, do you take Robin to be your wife? I do. You promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect her? forsaking all others and holding unto her forevermore? I do. <laughs> Robin, do you take Seth to be your husband? I do. Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding unto him forevermore? I do. Who has the rings? <laughs> This is the part we hope don't disappear into the sand. <laughs> so Seth, I want you to repeat after me. I, Seth, take thee, Robin, to be my wife. I, Seth, take thee, Robin, to be my wife. To have and to hold in sickness and in health. To have and to hold in sickness and in health. For richer or for poorer, in joy and sorrow. For richer and for poor, in joy and sorrow. <laughs> and I promise my love to you. I promise my love to you. And with this ring, I take you as my wife for as long as we both shall live. And with this ring, I will take you as my wife as long as we both shall live. Go ahead and put the ring on. Okay, Robin, repeat after me. 
I, Robin, take thee, Seth, to be my husband. I, Robin, take thee, Seth, to be my husband. To have and to hold in sickness and in health. To have and to hold in sickness and in health. For richer or for poorer, in joy and sorrow. For richer or for poor, in joy and sorrow. And I promise my love to you. And I promise my love to you. And with this ring, I take you as my husband, for as long as we both shall live. And with this ring, I take you as my husband, for as long as we both shall live. You go ahead and put the ring on. <laughs> now as a congregation, can we stand? and bow our heads and reach our hands out to this lovely you couple. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your faithfulness, your mercy, and your grace. And we ask you to bless this marriage as this young couple begin their journey down the road together. We don't know what challenges lie ahead as the road turns and bends. Help them to make the best of whatever comes their way. Help them to continue to enjoy each other as they did when they first met. Help them to realize that nothing or no one is perfect, and to look for the good in all things and all people, including themselves. Help them to respect each other's likes and dislikes, opinions and beliefs, hopes and dreams and fears, even though they may not always understand them. Help them to learn from each other to grow mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. But most of all, dear God, help them to keep lit the torch of love that they now share so that by their loving example, they may pass on, pass on the light of love to their children and their children's children forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but if our best in me, and I pronounce you, husband and wife. <laughs> Sam, <laughs> It is my privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Seth Ben. <laughs>